good morning students so in previous class we discussed about letter analogy so in today's class we will discuss about number analogy what is number analogy the classification <coughs> the comparison between two numbers is called number analogy so yesterday we did all about letters so how we can uh, compare the letters so today we will completely discuss about numbers so number analogy So before doing number analogy or number classification, you must know the squares and cubes. So how to write squares and cubes? For suppose there is one square. So the power, if the power is two, it is called as square. So one square means one will be multiplied two times. One into one, one. Two square means two into two. So four. So two should be multiplied two times. Three square means 3 into 3, 9. So, like this, you should know up to 30 squares. So, when you uh, learn the 30 squares, you can easily uh, solve some problems regarding to number analogy or number classification. Uh, so, all should learn this, all should multiply up to 30 uh, squares and you should uh, completely learn it. 1 square, 1, 2 square, 2, 3 square, uh, 2 square, 4, 3 square, 9, 4 square, 16. So, up to 30 squares, you should completely learn these squares. Next, coming to the cubes, 1 cube means 1 into 1, uh, power is 3, then 1 will be multiplied 3 times. 1 into 1 into 1, 1. 2 cube, 2 into 2 into 2. 2 should be, 2 power 3 means 2 should be multiplied 3 times. 2 2 is a 4, 4 2 is a 8. So, so many uh, students will write as 6, but 2 2 is a 4, 4 2 is a 8. Next, 3 square. 3 into 3 into 3. 3 3 is a 9, 9 3 is a 27. So, like this, up to 20 cubes you should learn. Up to 20 cubes you should learn. So, squares up to 30 you should learn, cubes up to 20 you should learn. Why we should learn squares and cubes means uh, so many problems in analogy or in classification. Uh, more uh, sums is related to squares and cubes only. So, it is the basic part to learn uh, squares and cubes for also mathematics and for reasoning also. So, next Let us solve some problems. For suppose 121 is to 11, then 196 is to how much? So here 121 is to 11 is to 196 is to how much? So here 121 is 11 square. 11 square is 121. Then 196 is which number square means 14 square. So here answer is 14. Here answer is 14. Understood? Here 121 is 11th square. Here 196 is 14 square. So this is one example regarding to squares. Next let us uh, solve example about cubes. 343 is to 7. 5, 12 is to how much? Here, uh, 343 means 7 cube. 7 cube, 343. Next, 512 means 8 cube. 8 cube, 512. Here, 7 cube, 343. 8 cube, 512. This is a model of uh, cubes. Next, there is an another model. Okay, here uh, they given all the squares. Here 81 means 9 square, 121 means 11 square. Here 225 means 15 square. 
So how did they give him this problem? So first you should observe the theme which had given to the question. Okay. So uh, nine square, eleven square. The difference between nine and eleven is how much? Two. The difference between nine and eleven is two. So plus two is the uh, difference between ni nine and eleven. So for nine we should do plus. Uh, we will do plus two means eleven will come. So nine. 10, 11. So, uh, between first square and second square, there is a difference 2. So, here we should apply the same theme to the given question. For 15 also, we should do plus 2. So, 17 will come. What is the 17 square? 289. So, 17 square? 289. So, uh, this is another model in the squares. They may give plus or they may give minus also. Higher plus 2 they are given or else they may give 121 is to 81 or 289 is to how much. Like this also they may give. So 11 square, 9 square. So minus 2 is the difference. So here 1, 289 is 17 square, minus 2 we will do means 15 will come, 15 square is 225. This is the answer. They may give plus or minus also. In cubes also they may give plus or minus. So this is the problems, uh, models regarding to squares and cubes. Next, there is an another model in number analogy that addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. What is addition, multiplication, subtraction, and division means? Uh, here they may do uh, addition to the first number or they may do subtraction to the uh, first number or product or division. For example, addition. 234 is to 239. Double is to 428 is to how much? So, like this question given. So, uh, we clearly observe that 234 and 239 is, uh, there is no uh, little gap between two numbers. How much difference is there? 4 uh, plus 5. So, when we will do two, uh, plus 5 to the 234, it will come 239. Means, here, for the first number, we did plus 5. So, 239 came. Then we should apply the same code for the two, uh, 428. Before applying this, we should observe that uh, when we will do plus 5 to the 428, 433 will come. So if this answer will not be in the uh, options, you should choose another thing. Means um, even though it is plus 5 is happening, means uh, this theme is uh, okay for this question. But this answer is not there in the option. Then you should try the another theme. That means for uh, one question, they may uh, use two or three themes also in coding and decoding or in analogy. First, we should observe this uh, answer is there in options or not. First, we should observe. If it is there in options, it is no problem. It is the answer. If it will not be in the options, you should choose the another theme. Um, by another theme, it may uh, means uh, plus five, or it may uh, it may have another theme also. So first, we should clearly observe the theme. If uh, by doing plus five, answer is came uh, op in options, op uh, answer is there, it is okay. But if answer is not there in the option, we should choose the another theme and we should solve the problem. This is the addition model. Next. So here, uh, number decreased. So here, number increased means uh, almost it is plus. Here, number decreased. So 100 to 75. What is the relation? Minus 25 is the relation. So when we will do minus 25 to 50, it will come 25. So 25 is the answer. If answer is not there, you should find another theme to solve this question. This is the subtraction model. Next.
so don't worry about analogy it is very easy topic when you solve number of problems it is very easy topic to you to solve uh, many problems so 12 24 so when we will do into 2 to the 12 it will come 24 so 12 to the 24 16 into 2 16 to the 32 so answer is 32 so like this here uh, i did minus 5 plus 5 or plus 5 so they may give plus 25 or plus 100 or plus something plus 17 or plus 19 so addition means they may do uh, only not only 5 but they may do 10 17 there are many examples on addition um also while doing subtraction also we did here minus 25 but remaining sums means uh, they may give minus 5 minus 100 minus 15 so there are many problems related to subtraction but for example we did only minus 25 but this is a not only one model in the subtraction so minus 25 minus 10 minus 17 they may do uh, like this so in multiplication also into 2 into 3 into 5 into 10 into 17 so there are many examples in the multiplication also next 162 is to 81 264 is to how much so here 162 is to 81 when you will do uh, by 2 so 2 is a 16 into 1 is a 2 so 81 so here we did divided by 2 or uh, by 2 Here also we should do divided by two. Two ones are two threes are two twos are. So answer is one hundred thirty. Here division we did division. So by also divide also both are the same. So we did one um, divided by two two one sixty two. Here also we divide two with two hundred sixty four. So the answer is one hundred thirty two. so um, like this we should solve number analogy topics so we learned about squares cubes addition subtraction multiplication and division also so in these models uh, maximum um, <coughs> number analogy will come so firstly you should do the practice of more sums so while doing of uh, five sums you can uh, identify only five five themes so here we did five themes also so uh, by doing another another uh, model is there here So here twenty one is to forty four given. Uh, they find they ask to find that thirty one is to how much. So here for twenty one uh, into two plus two they did. So see twenty one into two 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 ones are two 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 is a four plus two forty two plus two forty four. So like this also they may give so into. And two operations they can use into and plus or into and minus into two minus two also they can do or plus two into two also they can do minus two into two also they can do so two or three operations also we can use uh, there are the themes in the number analogy not only into two and plus two into one plus one also there into three plus three also there or else into two plus one there into one plus <laughs> plus two also. there here we should find 31 into 2 2 ones are 2 2 threes are 6 plus 2 62 plus 2 64 so the answer is 
so like this also problems are there in number analogy so you should practice more and more sums to know the themes so there are uh, not only this we cannot say which theme will come in exam or which theme is there particularly in analogy or coding and decoding or classification so some of the topics in intelligence are there we cannot say uh, their particular model so there are uh, many models or many themes in the particular topics so we cannot say this is the particular model this only between these five topics only the sums will come we cannot say that in intelligence because there are many problems and there are many techniques or there are uh, many themes in this uh, intelligence some of the topics so we should practice more and more sums to solve any tricky question easily so keep in mind that every time you should uh, so today i said the topic about number analogy so today itself you should practice the topic not only intelligence so uh, any subject english or uh, zk so today we completed one topic means you should uh, read the topic today itself so when you listen the class and you uh, when you practice the same topic today only you may keep in mind for the long time so uh, try to solve the or try to practice the topic when uh, we said so today i said the topic about number analogy so today itself you should complete the practicing of number analogy as should i said letter analogy so complete the letter analogy and number analogy today itself so like this you should uh, do practice to get the better result so to reach your goals also and in the next class we will discuss about word analogy so word analogy also easy topic in word analogy um, you have you may have the country and capitals next uh, angles so there are many topics in the analogy but when you uh, read gk so general knowledge when you know you can do the word analogy easily so uh, first concentrate on gk after we can do easily word analogy so the uh, word analogy is related to completely gk or english topic also english means they may give synonyms antonyms means meanings opposites also they may give so you should uh, know completely synonyms antonyms and general knowledge part to solve word analogy topic in next class we will discuss about word analogy uh, that's all for today thank you Good morning, Radhika. Very good, Jagarav. You are actively participating.